Let me think. Did I set sell the right? 1.0. So 0. Uh, 0. 0.7. 0. 0.6. Uh, Eugene. Yes. When you're doing the goal seek, there's a little arrow thing. If you click the arrow, I think that might solve the problem. On the by changing cell, the down. Yeah, this is the cell that should be changing. Right, so now click the arrow on the by changing cell. It's down, it should be downwards, right? Wait, so the value is 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And uh, the set cell is this one. Okay, so stress max minus stress mean. So if I put... Wait, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. So let's try again. Got it. <laughs> I don't know why. Any idea? Right? I guess so, you gotta start with C smaller. Hey? So you have to start with C smaller than it would be. Oh, is it smaller than what work? Yeah, probably so. So you can see now, right? It hits a hundred thousand, right? And then this is the diameter that you should be using. Let Let me try again. So if I try one point zero again, okay, let's try again. So what if go sick? Okay, probably I I make some mistake just now. So again, the set value to is one hundred thousand. Uh, one hundred e six, right? And then by changing this one, the set value is this one. I think you're right. If I set it too high, yeah, you're right. If I set the wrong approximation, it just goes stupid. Okay, that's probably the limitation of 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 uh software like this. Okay, so it's, it's something to do with numerical method. Am I right? So if I go for zero point one, right? If I go go sick again. Right, so the set cell is this. This is equal to one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then by changing here, what will happen? It will work. Right, so the, the two different, you can watch the video. The two different things we have done is our initial guess point. Okay, and one of you is right. So where we guess, because this is because of the simplicity of the Excel. Uh, go six software. Okay, so this is the diameter that we're going to use, which is zero. Uh, so, so the radius that we're going to use is zero point zero seven four. Now let's go back to our our uh, yeah, it's like a cooking show. Uh, things can go wrong, right? <laughs> so from here, we know that C is equal to. Uh, from from our is equal to zero point zero seven four eight eight one inches, right? Or the diameter will be equal to uh, zero point zero seven four eight eight one times two is equal to zero point or one four nine point seven six two times ten to about three or minus three inches. Okay, so this is the diameter you're gonna use, right? So this is really really a, a interesting classical problem. Okay, so when there's a case, this is the criteria that has been what satisfied. Now. If this criteria has been satisfied, we all st we still have to calculate our what? We still have to calculate our stress max. We have to ensure that our analysis, our stress max must be less than what? Must be less than uh, 50 times 10 to the power 3 PSI. Okay. So now we use our value 0 0.074881. So stress max will be equal to, so you do the square root, right? So you have minus uh, 2500C, 
right? Minus by some. Hey, what am I doing, Eugene? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm not dumb. I because I need to write this down. So minus two five o o multiplied by c, which is zero point zero seven four eight eight one, right? And then minus by seventy two thousand divide by pi or two pi. Okay, zero point zero seven four eight eight one squared, and then the whole thing squared, and we have the value already on our Excel spreadsheet. Uh, five five two o o divide by pi, multiply zero point zero seven four eight eight one, right, and then the whole thing squared. All right. So tau max. If we go back to our our spreadsheet, right. our tau max is also equal to what? So this is the value that we. This is our tau max. It's also equal to what? Fifty thousand. So the condition have been met, right? So so the condition have been met. So you look at this value over here. That is our maximum shearing stress magnitude. So you come back here. So this is also equal to what? Fifty times ten to power three psi. So in the real world, right, it's very difficult to manufacture at 149.762. Okay, so what we will say, okay, the diameter of the shaft will be 150 times 10 to the power minus 3 inches, and we are good to go. Okay. Okay, so this, this is where we have met the condition where stress Y is stress A minus stress B, and tau max is also at its what? 50 times 10 to the power 3. So in, 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 in your in your exam, okay, I will expect you to so uh can someone suggest to me uh, uh what do I want to uh, suggest to me any website you can do this? Wolfram Alpha or whatsoever, can anyone? All of a sudden everyone gone quiet. Okay. But anyway, there are commercial packages that you can use that you don't need to use Excel. Do it. Okay, just get me if the number correspond to what has been calculated, you'll get the marks. Okay, on that note, I'm going to end my lecture now. Anyone have any question before I go and post the uh, post the exam or post the quiz? Anyone, any question, please? But don't go yet, okay? If you have no question, don't go. I'm going to stop recording. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>